It's always like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the X Games 601. So is this thing worth picking up? That is the question of today. I must say that when you're looking at this fake Xbox One S model or I think it was an Xbox S model one, you know what it is. It's an old fake Xbox, but the question remains, what can we play with it? You would be surprised you're asking like over the $50 for this device. It comes with a 601 or something like that. So back in the day, like this was one of those like new generation game systems. It even have like an AV out, an HDMI out. It comes with controllers and of course a cable for plugging in the power supply. But I can tell you it's quite laughable. And I mean like the quality in general. I've picked it up like a very long time ago and this thing is absolutely weird. It looks like an Xbox but it isn't like nearly an Xbox when it comes to the quality. So inside it's all like a freaking cable nightmare because I bought it second hand. This was not actually packaged from China. I found it on the internet and I'm like you know let's take a closer look at it. So it comes with a very flimsy 5 volt power supply 1000 milliamp HDMI. The thing I personally really, yeah, what I really like, what I liked were the controllers because these were not super bad. The controllers in general like look very cool translucent edition, like it feels still very cheaply. You can even hear it like it's absolutely really cheap quality, but not like the cheap to the cheap one. The ones that are super chemical, they're still coming with the rubberized joysticks. The D-pad feels way too sturdy, so I really don't like it. And the A, B, C and D buttons are absolutely like cheap, horrible feel. I think the best thing about the controllers are actually like the joysticks. Yeah. So when it comes to these China consoles, there was something they like need to rip off. And this time the Xbox One S is one of those. At the front we're going to get two USB ports for plugging in the controller. Oh, and try some different controllers. It's absolutely like freaking nightmare finding other ones that will work on this. So at the front we do get like self the on NOS switch. You would say like hey what's so special about the on NOS switch. I can tell you with those like say game boxes nowadays it's more like a gamble. Because they're making no on and off switches on some game systems nowadays. Yeah, I would say like it would be like a normal thing but that isn't. But when you're looking at the back, what I find quite interesting with the system that we do have like the option for HDMI and also AV out. An input over here, 5 volts for the power supply with a barrel jack and we had the option to even add some games. Alright, so let's boot up the device itself. So the intro music, it sounds absolutely rubbish. It's by the way, the Windows 95 or 98 intro. More like nostalgia, it's more like nostalgia. This is like the biggest retro part of it. But nevertheless, let's give it a good capture. So what you're going to get basically the game and the SD card at the top. So yep, you can add an SD card and basically like implement extra files. And I mean, especially when it comes to game files, there's no way of emulator like swapping or something like that. There's nothing you can do with it. We have Neo Geo, GBA, Super NES, Sega Mega Drive and NES. That's basically what this device is capable of running. If you're going to open up a game list, you have like this very basic menu with like just a gigantic list with some numbers. So what I understand of like what you see is like some of these like things are programmed and a couple of like items in it but that's it and yeah i can tell you it's very limited there is no setting option whatsoever only when you're loading up a game you press select and start you will bring you to the main menu here we have like the option to add frame skipping kind of weird okay but um, button set that can be set over here so if you have any problems with the button configuration and instant archive or quick load quick save and i'm gonna say that works pretty damn good you can see like i can make a quick load and basically like doing quick save cock load this way you even kind of like make a save on your sd card i think that's a pretty damn cool feature the first test i wanted to do is basically like some beefcake and dinos so just to see how mame is running on this but i can tell you it is not running very well it does have like a lot of screen tearing and the audio oh boy listen to it yourself because it's not great <laughs> It's unfortunate and general problem with the emulator itself. Like I think they're just running a bad emulator on this and there's no way of switching it out. And also Alien vs Predator will have the same freaking issues.
and yep we're still in arcade but this time we're going to check out some neo geo and unfortunate also here we do have like the same issues so i was hoping only mame had issues but also neo geo maybe it's running under the same emulator and that's maybe the reason why it also had the same problem And a little bit of bummer and you can see some graphical glitches at the bottom part so the emulation was just in my opinion a freaking nightmare on these x games 6101 systems and in the end it was just basically a waste of money but after loading up with some game mode fonts this is basically what happens my game froze and when i'm trying to boot up the system it's absolutely dead yeah, so this is the quality what it is with the X game system. It's absolutely garbage to the maximum level because it just froze and my full system is just unusable at this moment. A little bit bummer, nothing to do about it. I just wanted to do a quick teardown with you guys and when you're looking at the inside, it's kind of laughable like how big the case is and how small the PCB in the inside is. Maybe some of you have seen it already, like this is something that happens a lot. They just make something that looks kind of cool, but in the end, like it's absolutely like a piece of garbage. But the unfortunate thing, they still sell this like Ingenic GZ4600, 760, so I'm saying it wrong. Nevertheless, it's like old school tech and it is not like great at all. It's just garbage. But I can tell you, this is one of those weirdest like combinations ever. A fake Xbox with a PlayStation 2 fake controller. Yeah, it can get more wicked than this. The emulation performance is absolutely to cry for. This is not the quality that you want to have. Even now, this is absolutely a piece of garbage. Let me know in comments what do you think of this. Well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, and it would be great to see you in the next video.